And good afternoon, everybody. This is Michael Pellegrino. I am with LongicalSignals.com and TradersHoppingTraders.com. And this is the Elliott Wave update for the NASDAQ 100 for Wednesday, June 30th, 2021. Not very much to be adding to analysis today. The market remained inside uh, yesterday's range uh, after putting in a slightly new additional low uh, at uh, 14,518.25 this morning. Um, basically, has not done much since. Um, we're continuing to label the, the high that uh, we created a slight new high actually uh, yesterday in the early Globex session at uh, 14,598.50. So just shy of that 14,600 level. And that remains elusive right now, but nonetheless, we're going to kind of hang out and just wait and see what uh, takes place. So I'm still looking that we're probably still within a fourth wave correction because actually we, we didn't get the start of the rally because it should just kind of move uh, pretty freely. Uh, the balance of the markets, the Dow, the S&P, and uh, the Russell did manage to lift a little bit more today. The S&P particularly uh, did run up, put in a new high. And now it's kind of basically sitting there. So what I thought would happen yesterday, and the fact that the that the Nasdaq would be down, and the Dow and the S and P and the Russell would be up, took one more day. So that today that happened, and the the Nasdaq was down a little bit. Now also interesting yesterday, as we discussed, the Nasdaq right at that close, so at the market close, they had in the following half hour after that, they just pushed um, all the way up to. What was then, I think, new highs, and then in the Globex session, they pushed again and got it up there. Um, so, what we can expect for tomorrow is if we continue to get a uh, downside in the way of a, a sub minute wave four, it should find support again right here because that's where the 200 day moving average is. And then we have 0.382 support at 14,490, and that's the most common uh, level for a fourth wave correction. So it would be right there. Um, where it cannot break, if we start to really sell off, it cannot break below 14,422 and still be a wave four. So it most certainly can break below 14,422, but it would be something else. I would not then be expecting the rally to kind of take this thing and go back up to new highs. So. We're now developing limitations on where the market can go and still have the potential to move up to new highs before we get a, lar uh, a larger correction. Um, and that level right now with this count is 14,422. So we've got about 130 points from where we are right now that the market has to kind of shift and move and, and still keep alive rally hopes. My expectations remain the same, uh, being that the market continues to consolidate in, in, in higher levels. And that does suggest that the buyers may come back in and get us back up above 14,600. But let's be realistic in the fact that the market is going to need a, a really strong push to get through all these resistance zones to get up to this cluster up here between 14,694 and 14,732, I'm gonna call it, 14,730. Um, and then we have additional at 14,719, so it would be 720. Um, those are gonna be very tough levels, I think, because again, unless there's something that's going to substantiate it and support it, because uh, the buying would have to be pretty strong to get it there, and then there has to be a very definitive reason because everybody else has got to come in and follow uh, to suggest that we're just going to continue. Now, again, um, we are beginning to move into earnings. And uh, Micron actually came out today, but that was the fourth quarter. So now we're looking for the start of the second quarter earnings. And today ended the quarter. And I think we began sort of the second week in July. So we may get slow. And between now and when earnings start to come out, um, and just in, because of anticipation for it. Uh, so we're gonna continue to uh, look for 
additional new highs. We have downside, we've got support at 14,490, 14,460, I'm gonna call it, and 14,440. Below that, mm -mm, please don't go there, NASDAQ, because it'll just really uh, create a situation that we don't wanna see. So the lowest I think that the way four can get without starting to break apart uh, the whole count is 14,436. And it can't break below 422. Uh, upside, we have initial resistance. It's doubling up right there at 14,584. Should not have a problem with it, but it already has. And then we have 14,601. <clears throat> no, excuse me, that's not going to be right. It's 14,000 because this is marking that completion and that's off by uh, a couple of points. Um, so the next stronger resistance, once we can get above that high of 14,598, is uh, 14,627. Now, anything above this, if it gets up there and then starts to sell off, then I would consider it a five, we're done, let's get out of the pool. Um, more likely though, five would equal 62% uh, of wave three, which is very common at 14,694. So anywhere up in there. And then we're looking at 14,700. And here we have, this would be the, I believe the larger, let's see what I did here. Um, Yes. So what we're all measuring here is that 618, that higher 618 number is actually for minor or minute wave five, which is going to complete that minor level. And that's up here at 14,731. And and I would not expect it to get past that. So we have lots of resistance. Ultimately, this is where we would be expecting the minute wave five to complete. So that would be this whole wave. But now we're getting stacked up here. And let me go back to my 30. And we'll see it a little bit more clearly. You can see that we start to get stacked up. So I'm taking, you know, we've got this 618, which is where the sub-minute wave five would be equal to sub-minute wave three, excuse me, would be 618 of wave, of wave three at 14,694. So we have the both this, the 618 levels, which are high candidates to complete the whole sequence. And they're close enough, but yet not. There's about 40, 40 points, additional points. So, and I think it would stair step its way up here as it continues to do. Um, it meets resistance and it just doesn't want to push because I think people are waiting. People are, you know, the only reason you got to have a good reason to come in here and buy it now um, because you don't have anything to substantiate it. And that may be the way it stays. So those are our levels. Downside should be limited. We have the break point, 14,422. We have our upside levels. Now we have to sit and wait for the market to tell us what it wants to do and then trade along. Uh, and that's where I'm going to leave it. Tomorrow it will be the next update on July 1st.